So I recently completely redid my NU team, and when I finished, I went on the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder to try to find a battle, uh, for someone to go against. And who should I find but Sir Dwarf Lark, who I battled not that long ago. I love battling people through YouTube, so I was really glad that I could battle him again. Um, I, I, as I said, I've completely redone this team. The only Pokémon who has stayed completely unchanged is, uh, my Scarf Emboar. Great set, I love it. But even my Skuntank is a new set. Uh, so anyway, he leads off with Golem, and I lead off with my Relicant. I was kind of hoping maybe he'd lead off with someone else, but I don't want to take an Earthquake, and so I'm going to withdraw my Relicant. I love my Relicant set, by the way, and you're going to see why. I go out into Onion, who I should have let off with in the first place. He's going to go for the Rock Blast, I'm like, I hope it doesn't hit too often, and luckily it only hits twice. So that's really lucky for me. I go for the Giga Drain. Uh, by the way, this Ludicolo is an amazing, amazing set, which unfortunately you're not going to see too much of. So, Golem, in my opinion, is kind of broken and really deserves to be in BL3, but people just say it's really not that big of a problem, but I always have a problem with it. Because it's got the sturdy, because it's got uh, such a massive attack and access to Rock Blast, so here he goes for another Rock Blast, and I'm like, ah, I can take it okay, I mean, I, I, as long as he doesn't get all five. He gets a crit here, I'm like... So now three hits, four hits, and five hits. So he gets five hits and a crit. The crit totally mattered in that case. And now he, it's still alive. And so now I'm going to go out into my Rotom, which I know is going to outspeed. Um, assuming he's not Scarf, which I'm pretty sure he's not. He goes for the Sucker Punch. Uh, and it does a lot of damage, but I take it okay. Um, and I managed to take him out with that Air Slash at 1 HP, so really lucky that I managed to take out his Golem, uh, as easily as I did, I guess, but he already, he took out, uh, he took out Onion, and that's going to be really unfortunate for me, because Onion is such an amazing Pokemon on this team, and is my primary special sweeper. Uh, I go ahead and switch out, as he sends out his... Rotom Frost form, I'm going to switch out into Starlooker, my Embor. He's gonna go for the Blizzard, and I'm thinking that he's probably the spec set. I think they're mostly their specs are scarfed. Luckily, he doesn't get frozen. He's going to switch out, obviously expecting me to use Flare Blitz. Looking at his team, I think that this guy right here, Torkoal, is the only Pokemon that really would not mind a Flare Blitz. And so I go for the Flare Blitz, thinking it's a better move than Super Power. Uh, and really doesn't do very much. Gonna need to switch out because I am locked in. And, oh well, it is what it is. Uh, so, Starlooker gets called back. I, I love this Embor set. It is really great. And it's going to give me an opportunity to send out Vermilion, my Relicanth, and I'm going to be able to set up rocks as he sets up rocks. I don't mind rocks on my team. I've only got one po Okay, fine. Two Pokemon that are weak to the rocks. Um, I mean, Spikes and Toxic Spikes would be... Well, not Toxic Spikes, but Spikes would be more of an issue, but... I don't think there are too many spikers in uh, NU. So anyway, he switches out. As I go for the Salt Rock, he was probably expecting me to go for the Head Smash. I actually don't know why it's the Viper, but I look at up to Viper set because I actually know nothing about the Viper. And I see that usually they run specs with Giga Drain, and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to take a Giga Drain. So I go out into Kenyon, expecting the Giga Drain, and indeed he does go for the Giga Drain. Kenyon will be able to resist that. So, great situation. Uh, and now he's almost certainly going to switch out because he's almost certainly locked in. So, go ahead, go for the, uh, go for the pursuit. Gonna have 80 base power. I'm not expecting it to KO, but it will do a decent amount of damage. I have changed up the set, so instead of being that stupid, spe uh, mixed set that I was running, it is now purely a physical attacker. It's the standard trapping, uh, skunk tank, I think with some modifications. Bulky attacker, I guess it's called. Um, the, the last I checked, the Skuntank article on Smogon was in the midst of an update, so here I'm going to go for the Poison Jab. It's my primary stab move, hoping to get the Poison. He goes for the Dragon Tail with his Licky Licky. Licky Licky is a huge pain. Huge pain, especially considering a lot of them run Wish, and uh, Wish Licky Licky has the same problems, in my opinion, as Wish Blissey Chansey, and that is that it's really the ones with good sets are, are the one with uh, the ones with good IVs. There aren't very many of them, so it's really annoying that people use them. Anyway, he goes for the Protect just to see what move I would lock myself into. Good move. I guess I could have gone for the Superpower. Well, maybe not. So here I'm going to switch out thinking, well, he's going to probably switch out into Torkoal. Go out into Vermilion. Um, I love my Vermilion. And indeed, he is going to switch out, and I believe he does go out into Torkoal. So, that's excellent. So it's going to prevent him from setting up rocks. 
Or oh, sorry, spinning away my rocks. Uh, and rocks do a lot of damage to him. So that's that's great. I and uh, you know this is gonna be a free switch for me unless he decides to be ballsy and stay in. But I just don't see that happening. He's gonna go and withdraw. That is fine. Gonna go out into zero degrees Celsius, expecting I guess me to earthquake. But I'm not gonna go for the earthquake. I'm going to go for the head smash. Obviously, you're going the th the relicant's claim to fame is. Uh, Recoilless Head Smash. Laron, by the way, also can do that, but Laron is going to be an inferior Pokemon, by and large, in my opinion, compared to Relicanth. And look at, look at, I mean, it just took him out. No ban, no anything. Okay, fine, it was, it was resisted, but, I mean, I, I was weak to it, but even so, uh, yeah, still expecting the Giga Drain, not wanting to take the Giga Drain. I would get KO'd by a Giga Drain for sure, especially if he specs. I'll put up the calc and the annotations, whether, you know, how much of a one hit KO that really would be. Uh, he goes with the Ecadrain again, doesn't expect me to switch. Uh, I'm actually not sure what other moves the Survivor is running. Uh, yeah, he's gonna recover up a little bit of health. Gigadrain is actually a good move to have on a spec set, and if you're willing to sacrifice the power, because it gives you a form of reliable recovery, which choice sets usually lack. So, he's gonna want to switch out. I'm kind of expecting that, uh, and I'm actually kind of expecting him to go out into this guy. I go for the Discharge, hoping for the Paralysis, hoping that it'll do a I mean, I know that he has Heal Bell, but at least it should make his life slightly more difficult. Um, so, my Rotom, I don't think I have much to fear from this guy, and especially with Parahax, I'm actually going to go for the Parafusion, I'm going to go for the Confuse Ray, forgetting, of course, that Licky Licky has own tempo, and this is really stupid for me, because I had a Licky Licky with own tempo. I already had one, and so I should remember that they have own tempo. So that was just a dumb, dumb move on my end. And had I just gone for another discharge, maybe even an air slash for the para flinch. So yeah, here I go for the air slash for the para flinch. But since he got that wish off, it's going to be annoying. So I do get the flinch, but the wish is going to uh, recover him back to a crazy amount of health. But this is actually not going to be that bad of a situation for me because this is the this is the annoying. Rotom, uh, Rotom fan set. It's not the Scarf set, obviously. It's the one that runs Pain Split. So, here I'm gonna get off a lot of recovery, gonna get back to almost full HP, and it's gonna take a lot of damage from him. And here he goes for the Dragon Tail just to phase me out. Glad I went for the, pa uh, the Pain Split. It meant that I could recover a lot, of and when I come back in, the Stealth Rock damage won't completely devastate me. Yates, my uh, new cleric, it's replaced my stupid, stupid jump bluffs. Jump bluffs just never worked out. And Altaria, even, uh, it's also for, I mean, they're both 4x weak to ice. Altaria has better defenses, better resistances, and um, it's, I go for the roost thinking that he's just going to dragon tail me again. Um, going to get back up to full HP and just not wanting to, you know, have anything happen. So he gets paralyzed here. He was almost certainly going for the Dragon Tail. So I'm actually getting a lot of paralyzes here. And it's great. I'm wondering actually whether he doesn't actually carry the... I'm wondering if he doesn't actually carry the Heal Bell. Here I go for Roar, just to get him out. I knew he was going to go for Wish, so I figured I don't want him to Wish Stall me. And either of his other two Pokemon aren't really... I mean, it's, then it's not going to be great for me that they're going to be regaining all their health thanks to that Wish. But it's not... I just wanted to phase it out. Whatever. Go for the Dragon Pulse, thinking Torkoal really can't do much to me, considering I resist its stab move. He goes for the Rapid Spin. I'm okay with that. He wants to waste a turn using Rapid Spin. I can waste a turn later setting up the rocks. He's only got... Well, I guess he's got two Pokemon that are weak to rocks, um, but eh, not the biggest deal. So he's going to be back up to basically full HP, thanks to that Wish that was passed from uh, Licky Licky. Again, maybe phasing it out wasn't the, war the best idea, but I didn't want to deal with all the Dragon Tails. Uh, Yates goes for the Dragon Pulse uh, again. I'm just seeing how much damage it's doing, and it's doing a fair amount, and I don't think he has really respectable recovery unless he runs uh, Rest, which is possible. Goes for the Lava Plume. He gets the burn. That's annoying, but I am... What? Come on, I have Natural Cure. I have Heal Bell on this set, so really isn't going to be too huge of a deal. Uh, this Torkoal is, uh, this Torkoal is only annoying because I'm letting it be annoying. I have plenty of opportunities for taking it out, just not with my, um, just not with a Pokemon that's really more of a defensive pivot and cleric. So, here I go for the Dragon Pulse on the Switch, ain't doing nothing to his Licky Licky, to be expected. 
I think I'm gonna go for... I think I'm gonna switch next turn. I actually don't remember. This was a long battle. Yeah, I've been uploading a lot of long battles recently. Just, it's how these things have uh, panned out. My teams, I wouldn't consider very stally. This team especially isn't really very stally, except for Rotom and um, this guy right here. But, I mean, mostly it's pretty offensive. So here he goes for the heal bell. Probably a good move. Probably a good move. Uh, it's going to cure him of paralysis. I'll, I'm, I'm actually surprised more people don't run rest plus heal bell on another Pokemon. I guess it's hard to pull off, but anyway, I go for the roar here. Again, I just don't... I'm I'm phasing out because I don't want to deal with uh, Licky Licky. Anyway, Pidgeot's going to come out, and I'm like, it's Pidgeot. Who uses Pidgeot, and what do I have to fear from a Pidgeot? I'm at basically full health, even with the, that burn damage. I'm really not fearing anything. I'm like, let's see what he's going to do. He goes for the Brave Bird. It turns out that the primary set these guys run is Choice Band, and I see my health go down, down, down. I'm like, holy crap, I'm down to 59 HP. How the hell did that happen? I'll go for the Dragon Pulse. Um, at this point, I can't switch out without... Uh, I have no spinner, and I'm just going to die next turn if I switch out. Um, my only hope is that he's going to get afraid, he's going to switch out, and I can go for the Roost. Um, but no, goes for the Brave Bird. It does mean that he's taking a lot of damage with that recoil, but I've lost my Cleric, so now i got to be a little bit careful. Uh, however... I am pretty mu I'm pretty sure that he's banded. Either way, I'm pretty sure that he's choice. So I can I feel safe going out into Vermilion. He'd go for the Brave Bird. It shouldn't be do that much. Uh, and I can just KO with a Waterfall, really. Um, so here I go for the Waterfall. Uh, Licky Licky is going to be bulky as anything, but I'm hoping I can get flinches if I just stay in. Uh, actually, at that range of health, I'm hoping that a Head Smash should KO. Uh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be real close. I'll put up the I'll put up in the annotations how much head smash sh should do to this set. He goes for the wish, and so I'm thinking, okay, well, let's assume he doesn't do wish protect. Well, he's gonna do wish protect if he if he's gonna do wish. I go for the head smash, and his health goes down, 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 and it KOs. Woo! Party in the house tonight, and I take out his uh, Licky Licky, and that's really the only Pokemon that I was being annoyed by. So Viper's gonna come back out. My switch is obvious. Again, I look, my Relicanth is doing work, and I am loving it. And also, um, both of po his Pokemon who are left are not going to like uh, dealing with Relicanth's Head Smash or other moves. Uh, and especially considering Pidgeot is down to such low HP. He's going to Giga Drain again. I'm not sure why he keeps not predict- I guess he figures that the second he predicts my switch is the second I stay in predicting his prediction. So, he gets off- he gets the wish from Lucky Lucky, but I'm not fearing the Viper because, I mean, it's- he's locked in. He's not really doing very much to my Pokemon that resists- I actually have two Pokemon that resists these attacks. I go for the Paint Split, gives me a great opportunity to get some recovery off. He goes for the Giga Drain, and I'm basically- at this point, I'm basically like, whatever. Uh, he gets a crit here. That crit was annoying. But, it's not gonna matter too much. Even if my Rotom is taken out, I can just switch out into Embor, uh, revenge kill with, well, I guess probably Flare Blitz, well, maybe not Flare Blitz, um, but I can revenge kill easily. So anyway, he switches out into the old guy. Probably a good move. I go for the Pain Split again, uh, just to try to recover uh, some HP. I'm now at over half, so that's good. That's, that's very, very good. Uh, recover back a little bit more health with leftovers, and now I'm thinking, okay, maybe I can take out this Torkoal finally now. Um, gonna go for the Discharge. I'm not fearing much from this Torkoal, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's running rapid, but it's probably a utility set. I don't take him out! It's very close, but I don't take him out. Um, that's okay, I mean, he's probably bulky. He gets the burn here. Ugh! Freaking burn hacks! I mean, it's long. That's what you use... That's why you use Lava Plume rather than Fire Blast, rather than Flamethrower. Uh, it's just claim to fame. But here, so I'm going to get my health taken lower and lower. Going to go for the Discharge just for the KO, and didn't want to go for Air Slash in case he decided to switch out into Pidgeot. Well, I mean, Air Slash actually would have KO'd Pidgeot at that range anyway, but it was the best move to use. I take out his Torkoal. He's down to two Pokemon. I have four. I have four left? Yes, I have four left. So, I have high hopes. Out now is going to come to Viper. We're gonna see what he's gonna do. I go for the discharge on the hopes of getting Parahax, also just sacrificing my Rotom here. I have no cleric left, so yeah, I take him out I take him really low, but it's not gonna take KO. So my Rotom is now going to die. 
that's the way these things go. Not that big of a deal. I go out into Vermilion, he's locked into Flamethrower, and so here... Here I'm thinking he might switch out into Pidgeot, and I forgot that Pidgeot was at such low HP, so that's why I go for the Head Smash. And really, if the head, head Smash missed, I might have been in a really bad spot, but instead it hits. I'm extremely lucky in that regard, because Head Smash does not have the greatest of accuracy. Uh, I take out Queen Skylar, even though, yeah, I could have gone for the Waterfall, I would have taken him out just as easily. Oh well. So now he's down to his last Pokemon. Ordinarily, I'd just sack my I just sack my Relicanth, but my Relicanth runs max HP, and so had he gone for the Giga Drain, it, he would have covered back a, a lot of HP, and that wouldn't have been good. So here he goes for the Giga Drain. I think Starlooker can take it. Starlooker should be able to take it, and I survive on 41, and I'll just be able to revenge kill with an Earthquake, and I'm faster because I am Scarfed. So yeah, so Viper's gonna get taken down, and that is the conclusion of this battle. I win three zip. Great game, Sir Dwarf Flark. I hope you folks enjoyed it. I hope you folks stuck with me, even though it's my third battle in a row that's clocked in over 10 minutes long. I don't like doing battles that long, but I hope you've enjoyed them anyway. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.